Sup, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. And today... Today we are back. It's been quite an interesting 10 days, I'll say that for sure. I've uh, been doing a number of things. I've had a little bit of a, um, I don't know really what you want to call it, maybe an interruption. Now, I'll tell the whole story in a little bit. But the long story short, for any, any of my boomer viewers that for some reason don't follow me on fucking Twitter and are wondering why I've been gone, my fucking teeth got infected and I had to get them pulled out, okay? So I had to take the, da the, time, the days off, right? That's what happened. Now, I will go and tell us the story, or tell you guys the story of what happened with, like, my teeth, right? And, and this is something I've, like, kind of waited for at least a little bit to kind of tell the whole, the whole adventure, the whole story. So... Um, rewind to uh, the last time I streamed. So it wasn't, it was like, like Thursday, it was a Thursday before Thursday, right? So two Thursdays ago. Uh, it was at Allcraft, and I wake up in that morning, and I think to myself, ah, you know what? You know, I kind of have like a vague toothache. And if you go back and you watch my VOD, you can tell that I'm a little bit air agitated. And, you know, now I think kind of makes sense why. <laughs> And so, you know, I was just kind of in a little bit more of a bad mood than usual. So, um, anyway, uh, I, I, I'm doing all craft, and I think to myself, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just watch some videos, uh, and then I'll do all craft. Rich loves to talk. He'll carry the whole fucking show. Summit's a great guest. You know, he's a streamer. He can carry the other half of the show. And all I have to do is sit there and move my eyebrows around. So, you know, there's not really a whole lot that I have to do. I just had to get to all craft and, and get it over with. So we got to all craft. We did that. And um, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, it's basically what it is. And we went into the, uh, the, the, the post show, right? The after show on Rich's stream. And we're taking questions. And I'm like, man, this is starting to hurt like a motherfucker. Like, I'm not having a good time right now. This is not good. And I was drinking water, drinking soda, like nothing really was making a difference at all. And um, I, I sit there and I go through two questions where I say like one thing, like, oh, thanks for watching. And then I don't even respond to the guy's question. So obviously I, um, I, I lay down and it just keeps getting progressively worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And uh, it's like usually I wake up at about 930 in the morning in order to stream. But with this day, I, I woke, I, I stayed all the way up until five in the morning. So I was up for almost 24 hours because I just couldn't go to sleep because of how much it hurt. Like I took every type of painkiller I could imagine. Uh, I did every type of, you know, home remedy I could imagine. Nothing really seemed to make a difference at all. And the worst part about it is this was Thursday night. So unless I got it fixed the next day, there's nothing else I could really do. So I go and um, obviously I'm in so much fucking pain. It was just like excruciating. And, and like, it was, I was just so upset. I was so worried. And um, I, I wake up the next morning and I call my dad and I, I look with him to try to find a dentist appointment that I can get on that day. So um, after like two hours of looking and calling around, I finally get an appointment with a place that will take me in for an emergency visit. So I go in there, they do x-rays of my teeth, and they're like, yeah, we've got to pull the teeth out. And it's like, yeah, fucking obviously you're going to pull them out, right? I mean, th they, were, they were completely fucked. So I do that, and um, I, uh, I don't do that, but I go there and I have the x-rays done. I don't have the teeth pulled. Because the, the gum at this point is so swollen. Like, it was swollen to where um, it was hard for me to talk. And, like, if you saw the video that I posted on my Twitter you'd see that it was swollen to where like my lips were even like kind of like this, right? And what really scared me about it is that I had never, um, I never had my gum swollen before like this ever. So this is a really different thing. And uh, pull the teeth in that state? Yeah, exactly. You can't pull them in that state. That's what they told me. So um, uh, they gave me antibiotics and I've been on antibiotics ever since, right? I have actually like, one pill left to take now. And uh, then I'm going to be pretty much done. Happens to me all the time. Yeah, well, it swole up. And I, I didn't really know what to do. I thought it was like an infection or whatever. And it, it turned out that I'm like, I mean, they didn't explicitly tell me that it was an infection, but I looked it up online and, you know, every single little possible thing that I could ever look up and see implied to me that there was an infection going on. So I, I was obviously very concerned about this because, you know, teeth infections, they can kill you. 
and I was thinking to myself at that time, I'm like, man, I'm going to miss so much time off a of stream. Like, it's, you know, this is going to suck. I might lose viewers or something like that. You know, I was really upset about it. And I was really concerned and, you know, my stream. And then I thought to myself, I'm like, man, bitch, just be happy you come out of this alive. Just be happy you come out of this fucking alive. Like, just don't die. You, you know what I mean? Just just don't die. And, and I was actually worried that I would die. Like, I was straight up fucking worried that I would die. And it, it's not an unreasonable uh, worry either in that situation. Honestly, it's not. And so it, it, uh, it, it was really scary to me. It, it was extremely scary. And, um, you know, I, I was really, really afraid and, and really fucking worried. And so uh, I had to spend that weekend on the antibiotics. And then the following Monday, I went to my dentist and uh, they pulled the teeth because the swelling had gone down enough and they pulled the teeth out, which I was like kind of hoping it's like, I, you know, like that day is the day that AQ came out on my server. And I was like, ah, you know, do I want him to pull the teeth on AQ day? I'd like to raid. And I thought to myself, like, yeah, I'd also like to not have rotten teeth. So I figured I'd get them taken out anyway. And so I, I did decide to prioritize it over AQ, which was, um, you know, kind of a, it was an unfortunate have to, it was an unfortunate decision to have to make, but you know, I, I think that it was probably the right one. And so, um, I got two teeth pulled. They were already going to get pulled to begin with, right? Before this even happened, like if you had asked a dentist a year ago, would I have needed to pull these teeth? The answer would have been yes. So I don't really feel like at a loss for this at all. This is something that had to happen one way or another, and this just expedited its severity. So that's basically what happened. And um, I, did you get scaraboard? No, I did not get scaraboard. And uh, did you get replacements for him? Did you just get him pulled? I just got him pulled for now. I don't really know what I'm gonna do in the future. I have no idea. I haven't really thought about it a whole lot. How much did it cost? I, I don't remember. It was like eight hundred dollars or something like that. Uh, but it could have been less or more. I I, I don't remember. Um, but uh, anyway, so I get the teeth pulled, and I come back and I'm doing AQ, and you know, obviously, like I, I don't remember like what it was. I have no idea. Um, that sounds low, actually. I have no idea, okay? Like, it's, it, it is what it is. I, I don't want to argue about dental pricing right now, okay? Everybody knows, like, NA healthcare sucks, okay? So we don't need to get into that too much. So, uh, point is that, um, we go and, uh, you know, I come back home and I'm trying to do an AQ and I'm doing the AQ war event and everything's, you know, obviously it's very unpleasant. I just had some teeth pulled, but for the most part, um, you know, I, I'm surviving. It's okay. Uh, not necessarily thriving, but I'm surviving. And then the Novocaine wears off. Whew. Man. Let me tell you something. Let me fucking tell you something. That fucking hurt, man. Like, that that was not... That was a bad goddamn motherfucking time. Like, I had such a bad fucking time. It's manted. Okay, it's too bad. Um, yeah, so I, I had a bad fucking time dealing with that. 100%, man. How do you chew your food now? I just chew it with the other side of my mouth. It's the same side of my mouth I've always chewed it with, right? Uh, it's not really too much pro, uh, too much issue. And uh, moved to Austria, best social and healthcare system. I, I'm, I'm fine here. But anyway, um, <clears throat> not, not gonna not going to move out of the U.S. Like, realistically, it's not going to happen. So, um, anyway, so I, I go and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And I finally take half of a painkiller, which for me is like a really big deal. Uh, because like, I, I don't ever take any, any painkillers, any drugs at all. And, uh, I, I've had like overdoses on like different painkillers because I'm so skinny. So like whenever I, uh, whenever I take something, obviously it's much more, uh, it, it's not as dispersed in my system in, in the same way that it should or would be normally. So uh, that's basically where I'm at. Uh, no, you haven't? Well, I have because, um, like, I don't know, like, I looked it up and, like, the exact same thing that I had happen is what they said an overdose is like. So I, I don't know. Uh, that That's that's certainly what it seemed like. And um, that's not how drugs work unless you fucking demolish them. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of people that have bad reactions to drugs, especially if they have a really low tolerance and are not used to taking them. And, and they just take a full drug, like, just out of nowhere. And they've never had, like, they're not used to the effects. I'm pretty sure that happens regularly. And, um, 
it's all about tolerance yeah and uh a full drug yeah yeah i i don't want to get into like being a doctor or whatever like it, it's it doesn't really matter right the point is that i had a bad experience whether it was overdose say you know low tolerance whatever it was i had an extremely bad experience where i almost fucking went into shock it felt and so uh i, I never go back and um i don't like taking any pain medication at all and so uh i finally had to take one because of how bad it was but um yeah, so this happened, and I don't like taking pain medication. And over the past week, I have improved. Like, at this point, I can still tell whenever I'm talking a lot that, you know, there is some degree of, like, remnants there in terms of, like, discomfort, etc. But for the most part, I I'm, I'm okay, and, uh, and things are fine. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, did you try any home remedies? Yeah, I did. I tried everything that I could, and because uh, I just wanted to make the pain go away because I couldn't even sleep. So it's been certainly, uh, it's been certainly stressful. I'll say that for sure. But I'm very glad, uh, I'm very glad that it's done and it's over and I don't need to worry about any other kind of shit. And, uh, I do have another appointment with the dentist, uh, to get other work done. And, uh, it's just a matter of kind of getting that shit done and making it happen. Uh, that's really all it comes down to. Do you have any pain now? I don't, I have zero pain right now. Uh, most days, even whenever I had the teeth in my mouth, um, outside of the, uh, you know, the kind of like the flare up that I had happen, like the, that Thursday, uh, I don't have any pain hardly at all. Like, um, obviously I'll still drink soda sometimes. Uh, I'm just gonna try to like brush my teeth more often and, and be a little bit more healthy and, and conscientious with what I'm doing. I think that's really what the smartest thing to do is. To your teeth, cut down to soda and fast food. Listen, I, I, I understand like a lot of people obviously, you know, they, I, I, I like drinking soda. Like I do, it tastes good. And so of course I'm gonna drink, keep drinking it until I can't, right? I mean, like that's not, the, the fact is that that's not really why it happened. It, it, it's just not. I mean, a lot of the teeth that had uh, that, that had decay back there, they, they had decay because fillings fell out like 10 years ago. So it, it's not like this is because of the soda or anything like that. And um, that's just how it works. It doesn't matter how good a, t uh, how good a care you take your teeth, if you have like the raw teeth that are exposed like that, they're going to fall apart. It's just, it is what it is. And um, yeah, I, 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 I know obviously some people might not really understand that, but that is kind of how it works. You ever played Dark Den? No, I haven't at all. Some more negligence than anything? Yeah, yeah, more negligence, exactly. And uh, that's pretty much what it is. A lot of it's genetics as well. Well, the point is that I'm not going to stop drinking soda, at least not yet. Uh, obviously, if it gets to the point to where I have to do that, I will have to do that. But it's not at that point right now, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, I, I like drinking soda, and for like a certain point, you know, I, I think that, you know, I have very few indulgences in my life, and, you know, I, I just, I like drinking soda, and so I'm going to keep drinking soda, at least for now. And so, uh, that's really all there is to it. And, um, uh, get dentures? No, I'm not going to get dentures, man. Uh, there's not a fucking chance I want to do that, man. That would be awful. And yes, I did get a haircut. As you guys can see, um, I, uh, I went... I went to a barber shop, it was yesterday, and um, my hair is cut. It's it's kind of weird, I'm gonna be honest, it really is kind of weird having my hair cut. Uh, I, I went in there and um, I was the only white dude there whenever I went to get my hair cut. And I'm like, they're like, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know, just do whatever. And this is what happened, you know, like that's pretty much it. And uh, you know, make sure it's, you know, about medium length, right? And uh, that's about it. And so, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy that. I, I, I like kind of, honestly, I like having long hair and I like having short hair. It's like the seasons of the, of the year, right? You have like the summer, it's hot as a motherfucker. And then you have the winter, it's cold as fuck, you know? And that's basically what it is. So yeah, it's like whenever you have shorter hair, it's easier to look like you're not going bald, which is like, it sounds counterproductive, but somebody explained it to me. Some like, you know, hairstylist explained it to me. And apparently this somehow makes sense. I don't really know exactly how though uh it, it was like honestly dude like so here's what really fucking here's what really got me with here's why i really cut my hair right is so i wake up in the morning and i see i have a missed call from my dad and i'm like fuck and so i call my dad and my dad's like explaining because i'm you know he's like you know his, his car isn't working right this is ultimately what it is and so he's like explaining to me what he had for lunch uh the time that it didn't work and i'm like okay dad i'm gonna come over and i'm just gonna come over we're gonna fix this he's like yeah so i had oatmeal this morning and then the fucking car wouldn't work 
And I'm like, all right, dad, I'm gonna come over in like a half hour. He's like, so then the cat came in and it kept meowing. And I'm like, okay, dad, I get it. So I'm gonna come over after this. And he's like, yeah, well, that's interesting. So I read in the paper, I'm like, dad, I'm gonna come over, we're gonna fix the fucking car, okay? He's like, okay. And so I hung up and I'm like, all right, I'm going to come over there. So I come over there and, um, you know, obviously the battery doesn't work. And my dad's got a Challenger, Dodge Challenger. And so uh, he was worried he'd have to have it towed until I remembered the battery was in the back of the car. So we went and we jump started the battery, which, of course, almost overheated my car because my car is also a piece of shit. So you've got kind of two piece of shit cars that are, uh, you know, like trying to make both of them work at the same time. Right. And uh, my dad is the same. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of not good. And so uh, anyway, so we, we drove it around a lot, like down the highway to like charge the battery. And whenever we did that, my dad didn't want to use the air conditioning because it was hot. And I'm like, no, not because it was hot, because he was trying to wait for the battery to recharge. So I'm sitting there with my fucking, like, with my long ass hair, my grease tendrils. And I, I hadn't showered since like two days ago. I had not showered since before I took a break at all, right? I, I stopped screaming for, for like a week or so, right? So I hadn't showered at all. So like my nasty, greasy hair, like I can feel it like right here, dude. And it's, it's crusting up and I'm like, oh my God, this is the most disgusting thing. I'm like, dad, can we put on the air conditioning? He's like, no, we can't put on the air conditioning. We've got to, uh, we've got to drive it around like this because we got to charge the battery and the air conditioning is going to drain the battery and I'm like fuck and so we drive all the way down there in like a in like a Dodge Challenger and the car is basically black okay and on top of that so it, it's extra hot then I look at the forecast and it's 105 degrees so that means in the car it's probably 120 so I spent about 45 minutes in that time and I drove home and I thought to myself you know what I think I'm going to get a haircut. And then the next day I got a haircut. That's pretty much what happened. So uh, that's pretty much it. Was that, oh, what's that in real numbers? I don't know. It's really fucking hot, okay? Like, that's what you need to know. Yeah, it's really fucking hot. It's Fahrenheit, freedom numbers, okay? A little bit different. And uh, how long have you gone without showering? Uh, I mean, like, ever? Like, three weeks. And um, I was pretty proud of myself at that point, you know? It's like you build up a certain amount of, like, uh, earth shield. And, um, you know, it just feels good. But then after you shower, it kind of feels different. It's like you kind of lost like two pounds of weight. So uh, it's certainly a unique feeling. I'll say that for sure.